Journalists pack up their equipment minutes after a scheduled evening press conference by Assistant Tourism Minister Cecily Mbarire is called off. One that had been called to counter accusations by the Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission that both she and her husband were involved in a bribery plot. There were allegations leveled earlier in the day by CAS director Pielo Lumumba as he held out to members of the press phone messages he allegedly received from Dennis Apa, husband to Tourism Assistant Minister Cecily Mbarire, as well as that morning's itinerary that shows of a failed early morning meeting between himself, accompanied by other Kenya anti-corruption officials, and Cecily Mbarire together with her husband. Evidence of what Lumumba says were continued attempts by Cecily Mbarire and husband to bribe him. In fact, this is the very first time that uh, the director has been approached personally. We have received approaches to our officers and they have declined. But in this particular case, our officers who were approached did make me aware. And because of the seriousness of this matter and the, uh, the caliber of the people involved, it was decided that I provide the lead in netting these individuals. According to the cast director, the couple tried on numerous occasions to bribe him so he could suppress ongoing investigations in the water ministry in which a company said to be owned by the assistant minister's husband was under investigation for receiving suspect tenders. What prompted CAS to engage in an undercover operation since June to expose Honorable Mbarire and husband said to have offered the director 100,000 shillings. The reason why this particular individual's name is being revealed is because the offense committed is not one that was being investigated. This is an attempt to bribe and compromise and blackmail the director of the Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission. And I believe that is in the best interest of the country that such individuals whose intention is to bribe our officers, including the director of the commission and to blackmail the director of the commission are exposed. This is the way to protect ourselves. But after failing to show up at a news conference she had convened in Parliament, Barire later sent a task statement to newsroom stating, quote, The allegations made this morning by the cast director Pielo Lumumba are false, untrue, malicious, and can only be interpreted to malign my name and character in the eyes of the public, end quote. Barire father said she was consulting her lawyers and would issue a comprehensive statement Tuesday. KSCC has since forwarded the evidence to the CID for further probe. The anti-corruption body has been investigating allegations of irregular procurement of services and equipment for boreholes in Machakos and Makweni districts under the emergency drought program at the Water and Irrigation Ministry that could indict top ministry officials as well as their relatives. Ibn Citizen Live at 9.